So every single wipe in Escape from Tarkov, we get tons of tiny little changes that permeate through the game that maybe don't make it to the patch notes. It could be new items, the rarity of items changing, the cost of items, or you know what it takes to build something in the hideout changes. And that a lot of times has a drastic effect on the economy and whether something is worth it or not. So I thought it was a good time to take a look at the patch 12.12 .12 hideout and take a look at everybody's favorite way to make money, which is the Bitcoin farm. We're going to dive into it, how much it costs, uh, if it's worth it, and how long it takes for you to turn a profit. If you like this video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel. We are so close to 100,000 subs here on YouTube. So anybody that subscribes, I really appreciate. You can also check me out live on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say, hey, with all that out of the way, though, let's go ahead and dive right in. So we're talking about the Bitcoin farm. Now, the TLDR of all this, if you don't want to get into the nitty gritty is yes, of course, the Bitcoin farm is basically always going to make you money. It's just depending on how long it takes you to upgrade it to where you want it and how long you have left in the wipe, because it once you get it up, it's just generating you money after you pay off your initial investment. So the TLDRs, of course, the Bitcoin farm is worth it. Uh, if, if we're talking about you know, a timeline of forever, but based on these numbers and stuff like that, you're going to decide if it's worth you pursuing or not. So uh, the Bitcoin farm is one of the most complicated subjects to talk about in the game. The math is pretty simple. You can kind of figure out if it's worth it, how much it's going to cost or, you know, how long it's going to take for you to make money, but complicated because of everything else around it. The hideout uh, is huge. There are a ton of different modules and uh, they all cost a different amount of money. You have to get to a certain point to get to the Bitcoin farm level. Uh, you might find 10 GPUs and computers. I might find no GPUs and computers. I might have a lucky scav junk box full of all the little miscellaneous things I need to construct these things. You might not and have to buy every single one of those things off the flea market. So there's just an insane amount of variables when it goes into like what's needed to get your hideout up, what's needed to get your Bitcoin farm leveled up, how often you play the game. So everything kind of has to be looked through that lens. Obviously, for numbers sake, I'm going to talk about everything as if you're buying it all off the flea market so that we can get real numbers. It's a, it's a baseline. Uh, so your experience is going to be different. You might decide something is worth it or not uh, based on how much you play the game. And I might decide that's different. So it's important to know that we're going to go through the numbers of everything so that you can kind of see what it's like to start from zero. But obviously, you know, and everybody's going to start from a different place. Additionally, I'm going to try to factor in as many costs, but costs that are directly related to the Bitcoin farm. So I'm obviously not going to talk about how much it costs to get your generator to level one or to level two or any of these other things that are required to get to the point where you need Bitcoin farm. I am going to include the prices of each of the things you need to get to construct Bitcoin farm level one, level two, level three. And then finally, every time I make this video, every time I talk about is the Bitcoin farm worth it with each wipe or whatever, uh, the way I do it is I'm not going to include the cost of fuel. In my opinion, there are so many different things you can be doing in the hideout and all of the different places that you can craft, whether it's your moonshine, your super water and the nutrition unit, Intel Center, workbench that you can sell. There is so much value in the hideout, even if you never use the Bitcoin farm. So the fuel is a wash to me because at any given moment, I've got six additional things crafting that I can then sell on the flea market because these are found in raid that is going to more than cover my cost of fuel. So if you are only upgrading your hideout solely for the Bitcoin farm and that's all you're using your uh, fuel on, you are definitely missing out on way too much money. So I'm not including the cost of fuel, but I am going to include as many costs that are directly related to the Bitcoin farm. So all that being said, we can get into the cost of constructing the Bitcoin farm. The wiki is one of the greatest tools to use for stuff like this. And they are really good at keeping this stuff updated when they change how long it takes to produce a Bitcoin or anything like that. Uh, so the wiki is a great place to get this information and we'll use that to kind of start and looking at numbers. So we'll start by talking about the cost of constructing the Bitcoin farm at each level. I'm going to say this multiple times throughout the video, but all I can do is base the cost off the current value of these things. Things like T-plugs, power cords, CPU fans, they might increase in price over the course of the wipe. They might decrease in price. They might do some crazy event that makes a certain thing extremely rare. Uh, this is going to be the same for the uh, Bitcoin, the price of the Bitcoin. This is going to be the same for the price of the graphics cards. I know the trends based on the previous wipes that I've done, all the other wipes, but we just don't know how much these things are going to cost. For instance, the GPUs, they put them in computers now, so now they're more accessible, more people can get them. That might mean the price never reaches what it has in previous wipes. I don't know. So all I can do is base these off of right now the value. I don't think these numbers are going to be way off basically throughout the entire wipe, and I think the principle of how roughly how long it takes for you to make money off these things and how much you make is going to 
pr be pretty steady and be close enough to the target to get you through the wipe. But that is that little preface there. So in order to get Bitcoin farm at level one, you need five T plugs, a VPX, 10 power cords, 10 power supply units, and 15 CPU fans. And then you need level two intelligence center. Outside of level two Intel center, all of those things on the flea market right now cost roughly a million rubles. It was about a million and 30,000 rubles plus getting Intel center level two. Once again, tons of value out of getting Intel Center Level 2. You can craft a bunch of things that sell for a lot and you get to scav quicker, which is a way to a great way to make money. So about a million rubles there. To get to level two, you need 15 CPU fans, 10 power supplies, 10 circuit boards, five phase control relays, two military power filters, and level three generator. The military power filters, uh, we will see multiple times throughout this really really throw this for a loop now because those are incredibly expensive that's a great example of something that we would have never seen go from they were like fifty thousand rubles last wipe to you know upwards of a million rubles this wipe so the cost of that is a little over 2.5 million you have to get level three generator there's obvious benefits to that and being able to put more fuel in and construct even more things in the hideout um, but it's a little over 2.5 million rubles to get just what you need off the flea market to get bitcoin farm level two Bitcoin farm level three is a real stopgap for a lot of people. Uh, you need 25 CPU fans, 15 silicon tubes, 10 electric motors, 10 pressure gauges, one military tank battery and solar power. You need level three water collector as well. But solar power is the big one here. Uh, the costs for everything outside of solar power uh, is about 1.9 million rubles of just under 2 million rubles. However, solar power is obviously a huge, huge stopgap here. Solar power costs an insane amount of money to create. Yes, solar power reduces your fuel consumption. So this definitely saves you money throughout the wipe as well on your whole fuel. Uh, but it costs four phase array elements, the ASAs, AESAs, uh, three working LCDs, 10 military cable, 10 of the military power filters. You need level four peacekeeper, level three generator, and level three workbench. Additionally, you need 75,000 euros. At the current prices of things, just the items you need because of those military power filters, that's going to cost you around like nine to 10 million rubles. And the 75,000 euros, if you had zero euros and you wanted to buy that, that's 10.7 million rubles so you are north of 20 million rubles just for solar power and then like we said you need the other 1.9 million rubles to get um, all the other things you need to get bitcoin farm level three so that is the cost of just getting everything set up uh, obviously at bitcoin farm level one you can put 10 gpus in your bitcoin farm level two you can put 25 and at level three you can put 50 gpus in there the current price of the gpus varies anywhere between like 560,000 up to 600,000 for a single gpu i kind of use 600,000 as a baseline because if you're going to the flea market to purchase 10 or more you're going to buy up the few that are listed for the 575 560 and then you're going to be purchasing several at 600 or above so i kind of average that down to about 600,000 rubles like we said that may fluctuate however so that means if you have no gpus if you want to buy 10 it's going to be 6 million rubles if you get bitcoin farm level 2 and you need to buy all 25 that's going to be 15 million rubles uh, and if you get all the way to bitcoin farm level 3 and you don't have any gpus purchasing 50 gpus is going to be 30 million rubles there so the cost of this over time a lot of people aren't going to be doing this all at once but is definitely insanely high so now we can use these really cool charts on the wiki to show us how long it takes to create a Bitcoin. Uh, what's great about this chart is that it shows you at every interval between one GPU and 50 GPUs. So that's a lot of, you know, people ask me, you know, what if I only have like 17 GPUs in there? We're going to stick to talking about 10, 25 and 50 to keep it simple and to, you know, extract as much value out of each level. But you can use this guide to you can use this table to kind of show you how much you're going to be making at each level. So. Uh, at 10 GPUs, it's going to take 29 hours and 23 minutes to produce a Bitcoin. At 25 GPUs, it is going to take 20 hours and 15 minutes. And at 50 GPUs, it's going to take 13 hours and 20 minutes. Like we said, you can see everything in between there. Uh, they have really slashed this. Used to be able to make a Bitcoin in less than eight hours at certain points. It's pretty crazy. But to get uh, all that money, spending the 30 million on the GPUs and all the all the money on the solar and everything you're at 13 hours and 20 minutes i think most people will stick at around the 25 if they want to max it out which is 20 hours and 15 minutes to produce a single bitcoin 
Now, the current value of Bitcoin goes for about uh, 280,000 rubles to therapists. Of course, there have been times in the past where that has inflated up to eight, 900,000 rubles, but I think that, that they're never going to let that happen again. I think 250 to 300,000 rubles is normally where it's going to sit. It is fluctuating. They still have some sort of math on the back end there, but I think it's going to average out to about 280. Uh, forever. I don't think they're ever going to let it go crazy unless they do some sort of event, which once again, I would have no information out. So I'm using about 280,000 rubles as the baseline for how much a Bitcoin costs. So now let's put all that information together and figure out how much money you're going to be making. Let's figure out how much it costs to construct, how many Bitcoin you need to make to pay off your investment, and then how much money you're going to be making per month after that. So I'll quickly walk through the math and how I arrived at these numbers. Feel free to check it and let me know in the comments if I did something wrong. But with the 1 million in items that you need to create the Bitcoin farm level one and the 6 million in GPUs that it's going to take to fill that up, it's going to cost about 7 million 30,000 rubles to get Bitcoin farm level one and 10 GPUs in there at 280,000 rubles per Bitcoin. That means you need 25 Bitcoin to pay off that initial 7 million ruble investment because at 10 GPUs, it takes 29 hours and 23 minutes in order to make a single Bitcoin. It takes 31 days in order to make 25 Bitcoin. So that means after 31 days, you've paid off your initial investment of 7 million rubles. You've got that back. And now all of the Bitcoin you're making is profit. At 29 hours and 23 minutes, if we assume 30 days in a month, that means you can make 24 Bitcoin per month, roughly, and that turns into 6.8 million rubles uh, profit per month. 6,833,898 profit per month after you've paid off your investment. And so for level two Bitcoin farm, we're assuming you're starting from zero because we want to see how long it's going to take off to pay off the entire investment. You might not start from zero and go all the way to level two Bitcoin with, you know, one stack of cash, but it is going to cost you this month to get from zero to there. So we want to know how long it takes to pay off that investment. So to get to level two, to construct Bitcoin farm level one, construct Bitcoin farm level two and buy 25 GPUs, that is going to cost you about 18,600,000 rubles at 280,000 rubles per Bitcoin. That's going to take 67 Bitcoin to pay back that 18 million rubles. At level two Bitcoin, it's 20 hours and 15 minutes per Bitcoin. So that is going to take you 56 days of making sure you're claiming your Bitcoin every single time. And that 56 days, you create 67 Bitcoin and you've paid off your 18 million investment. And after that, at 20 hours and 15 minutes per Bitcoin, in a 30 day period, you can make about 35 and a half Bitcoin, which is 9.9 .9 million rubles profit per month. So you get all that in, you're 56 days, you're a little under two months, and now you're profiting 10 million rubles per month on your Bitcoin farm. We can take this logic all the way further and go to level three. If you're starting from zero to construct level one, construct level two, construct level three, and construct the solar power and buy 50 GPUs, it costs 55 million 55 and a half million rubles at the cost that everything is today. That means you're going to need 198 Bitcoin to pay off that initial investment. That is going to take 110 days at 13 hours and 20 minutes to make that 198 Bitcoin. After that, however, you are producing 54 Bitcoin in a 30 day period, which is netting you 15 million rubles in profit per month. So that is the breakdown of all three levels of the Bitcoin farm. In my personal opinion, that level three is going to be hard to justify for a lot of people. It's going to take people a long time to get to the point where they even have that option in the hideout. It's going to take them a really long time to produce, you know, the 20 million rubles it takes to construct the solar farm. It's going to take a long time to produce the, you know, 30 million, or even if you already have 25 GPUs in your Bitcoin farm, the additional 15 million rubles to get those extra 25 GPUs. And then you start a 110 day timer of just breaking even. Obviously, if you already had some in there, you're not starting from scratch, but it takes a long time to pay off. Uh, and after that, you're making 15 million rubles a month, which is great. But at level two, you're making about 10 million rubles a month after your profit anyway. So if you're an absolute Chad and you wanted to know, of course, with enough time, and if you get it done early enough, you're absolutely going to be making a ton of money with level three Bitcoin farm. But even for me, I don't see myself reaching all the way up to level three there. Uh, however, I do think level two is a good, it's a great place to be. Yes, it costs a little bit more than in wipes in the past. Yes, it takes 56 days 
ways to make a profit there. However, after that, after two months worth of, uh, you know, selling your Bitcoin, you're making about 9 million rubles a month, which is a great place to be of passive income in the game. Now, some final thoughts after, you know, kind of crunching all those numbers. Of course, this is assuming that you always have fuel and you don't run out of fuel because then the Bitcoin farm stops. This is also assuming that you never miss a Bitcoin. Once you get to three Bitcoin in your Bitcoin farm, like if you go away for a week and you get three in there, the Bitcoin farm stops producing. Uh, if you have a lead hideout management, you can get that up to five. But if you are have a lead hideout management, then you're playing the game enough to just claim your Bitcoin anyway. So, of course, those are assuming those things. Once again, all these prices are assuming you're buying them off the flea market and assuming you're buying them today. You might find things. You might decide that you want to go for Bitcoin farm, but find all these things found in raid. That's totally fine. That's going to make it even more profit because there wasn't as much cost, but it's going to make the time it takes to construct these things a whole lot longer, obviously. There are tons of ways to make money in the game between scav runs and money runs. And there's obviously a ton of YouTube videos you can go check out if you're looking for ways to make the money. Um, but I still see, as in most wipes, the Bitcoin farm is an investment, but it definitely ends up making you a decent amount of money over the course of the wipe. As I always tell people, if you plan on playing Tarkov a lot throughout the entire wipe, all the way until the next wipe, uh, you're going to make money from it. It's going to be helpful long term. If you're somebody that plays a lot at the beginning, gets bored and then stops, plays other games or only plays once or twice a week after that, it's just probably not worth the investment. Maybe level one is going to be what's good for you there. But Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about my math, how I got these numbers, if you have any thoughts on if it's worth it, if you think you're going to go for it this time. But hopefully this kind of breakdown gave you everything you need to know. I know it was dense, but I hope it gave you what you need to know to decide if the Bitcoin farm is worth building for you in Escape from Dark. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. If you like the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Like we said earlier, I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I will definitely see you all on the next one.